Hello everyone, in this video I am going to cover a SSH authentication problem which occurs while transferring your data from uh, one server to another using this WHM transfer tool. So, uh, in this video I am going to transfer my data from one server which is on uh, Google Cloud Platform to the other server which is also on Google Cloud Platform. So, I have opened both of them as you can see on the screen. This is the IP of my source server which is keeping my data presently. Now, you have to migrate my data from this server. And this is the IP of my server uh, where I have to deliver my data so uh, after that you have to open uh, whm uh, on your respective ips i have co already covered a video on this topic i will provide you its link how to install whm on your servers so for now i am i leave this here and uh, i assuming you have already installed whm on your servers after that uh, let's just move on uh, on your source server the whm of your source server you have to search for ssh manager It will take you to this uh, SSH manager page. Here you have to figure out for uh, root, manage root SSH keys. This one, click on it. After that, we have to import uh, SSH keys. And where we will find that private key, uh, for this you have to open the body generator. Here it is, open it. Here you have to generate the key, randomly move your cursor, it will generate a key for you. Here we have to provide the key command which is basically act as the username later on and then key phrase which is act as the password later on. After that save that key, okay let me just check I haven't used a name earlier, okay I have to change it. Okay let's just pick a new private key, different name, okay. So what we have to do now, we have to save that, uh, the key we have just saved, we have to open it in a uh, notepad and after that copy this private key, we will put in that private key box here, paste your private key, after that you have to provide the name, I am going to use the similar name that I have used while generating that SSH uh, private key in a party generator, uh, okay let's just import. Here you can see we have successfully imported private key. So uh, basically a public keys are embedded in private key that's why it spontaneously opened that public key. After that we have to authorize this public key. Uh, click on this manage authorize and authorize your public key. Okay that's it return to SSH manager. So the work is done here. After that we have to go to the IP of our uh, source server and provide the uh, same public key here as well. So go to your instance details page, click edit and here go down and uh, you will find this SSH key section. Click on this show and edit and in this box you have to put that public key only rather than providing the private key. So it allows uh, to basically developing a SSH connection between the servers. So save that changes. As you can see the space bird 83 will be later on used as a, a threshold agent. I will discuss it later on so don't worry about it. So after that go to your uh, uh, the WHM of your destination server and uh, search for SSH similarly we did for uh, the source server and here we also have to import that private key as well like we did for source server. import that private key here oops I have pasted the public key let me just copy it again copy that private key and paste it here okay and provide this username and key phrase I am also mentioning that I am I have provided these username and password the similar one that I have used while generating the key in key generator okay uh, once again authorize your uh, public key in your destination server to authorize it okay that's it we have just finished that keys stuff go back to transfer tool here we have to provide the key of our remote server which is our keeping our data presently and this is this is this IP is different from the uh, the IP on which I am opening this WHM panel as you can see in the URL bar the IP is different here I have to choose in login section the username that uh, we were using in keys. 
and here you have to switch this authentication method to SSH key. It will automatically fetch that SSH key, but we have to provide the key phrase. Here, one important thing, the root escalation. This is basically uh, what this root escalation is. You have to provide the super user authentication to that space word 83 username to uh, get itself uh, logged into that IP, the, the IP of your source server. So for that, go to your uh, uh, source server, WHM panel, and search for wheel group go to that wheel group manager here we have to look for this spacebar 83 this one in our wheel group usernames so we'll just press s okay this here it is spacebar 83 add this username to the wheel group uh, what that wheel group basically is uh, this is basically something which whichever username you put in this wheel group it uh, basically been provided this user super user utility permissions so for uh, uh, let me just brief it once again to enter in this server this uh, uh, this is the IP of that server using this username you have to uh, provide this username the super user escalation so for that you have to put that username in the wheel group in the WHM panel of your source server so after that provide here the root server root password that you use to log into the WHM panel after that uh, going down in that advanced section uncheck that compress transfer because it arises the probability of failing the transfer due to the compression computations so click on that scan remote server uh, it will take some time in creating the session and other reconnection statuses uh, after that it will take you to the page where it has just fetched the information and accounts details of uh, the remote server here you can see the accounts, the packages and service configurations. I have only one account associated with the remote server, maybe you have more than one. And uh, I haven't any packages, so that's why it is blank. Maybe you have uh, more than one in your cases. So, and this is uh, all those service configurations. So, check all those boxes which you want to migrate from your remote server to the destination server and after checking all those boxes click on that copy button it will transfer your data so one important thing is that it pushes me an error because i have to already transfer my data and it is prohibited to transfer the data with the same name more than once so this is all for that i will surely attach the screenshot of uh, the page when i have just finished the transfer uh, so don't worry about it uh, so after uh, checking all those boxes which you want to transfer click that copy button it will take uh, it won't take more than one to two minutes because it is an inter-server transfer so okay that's it uh, let me just show you the screen this is the screenshot of uh, my inter-server transfer uh, completion as you can see the transfer has completed okay that's all for this video if you find this video informative and helpful do support us and stay tuned until the next tutorial thank you